Okay, in this video, I'm going to show you how to make a cupcake. We're going to do it by making a pinch pot. So you will be given um, a, a square piece of clay like this and using this part of your hand, you are to bash the corners of your square. Keep. Can you see how I bring it up with my hand and turn it in the palm of my hand? So constantly turning the clay in order to form a ball shape okay so it sort of sticks to my hand and i'm still using the you can see where i've used it here so keep turning keep hitting it with the palm of your hands and if you cup your bottom hand ever so slightly it will help form the shape even better okay so you're going to end up with a, with a ball okay normally there's a little crease in the top so cup cup the ball in your hand like this and take your thumb and you are going to press in the center okay i'm turning as i'm pressing turn press like this all the way okay and my thumb is pushing against my fingers Okay, and I'm turning and pushing, always pushing against my fingers, always. Okay, turn and push. Okay, it's called a pinch pot because of this pinching motion here. Right, so turn and push. You then, as you get as it as it gets a bit bigger, the hole, you may use this pincer movement with your thumb and your fingers, and you are turning it. And pushing and pincing turn like this okay you then want to bash it slightly to make the bottom a bit flatter we need to make sure that there's about a centimeter from your thumb to your finger here okay so that's how deep you go do not push your thumb through once you're happy with that cover up any any little holes okay and turn and can you see I'm pushing pushing against my hand always pushing against my hand push like this make sure that that's all nicely smooth you can turn it upside down and bash it a bit that'll make sure that that bit's nice and flat if you've got an overhang I have here you can just very carefully Pull that away like that. Okay. Okay, so go round, make it all nice and smooth. And this is called the pinch pot. This is the cupcake case for our container. Okay? So it's gonna look something like this. Now you can get a damp sponge and smooth it over, covering up any little scuffs or marks or holes in the clay. But don't use it, it doesn't want to be too wet. Now for the cupcake case, it has um, lines on it. So we're going to show those lines by marking like this. Some of you may want to do this, scratching into the clay, which is called scraffito, or some of you may wish to make um, sausages and attach them on like this. If you're doing this method, we need to make sure that we score and we slip both parts. We cross hatch the score in. And then using the slip method, covering the holes like this. So it, whatever method you choose is fine. Doesn't matter which one you decide to do. Just make sure that everything's stuck firmly on and it's nice and smooth. Okay, so can you see there that that bit is raised on? Okay, 
or scratch into or if you want do both scratch raise scratch raise and make it into a repeating pattern okay so there is your cupcake base when it comes to making the top I will show you in another in a second video